Well hello and howdy to all you wonderful whale watchers out there, we're back in the wildest town of Dirtwater for another tutorial today. If you want to check out where we built the rest of the town, check out the channel, all the tutorials, tutorials are on there for the rest of the builds, but today we're going to be building a simple wild west house. That's right guys, over near the church we have a little house that a few people have been asking for a video on, so that's what we're going to do today. After this tutorial we're going to do a couple of extra builds in the town that we haven't seen yet, courtesy of your guys' suggestions, so thank you for that and thank you for all the support and comments and everything you've been doing recently, you're all amazing. If it sounds a little funny in this video, it's because I've just been to the dentist and I've had my wisdom tooth taken out, so my mouth's a little bit numb, but uh, without any more mumbling on, let's build our Wild West house. So before we get started on the house, let's just see what materials we're going to need for the build. We're going to need some spruce logs, some stripped spruce logs, some dark oak planks, some dark oak stairs and slabs, some spruce planks, spruce trapdoors, spruce signs, lanterns, spruce fences, dark oak doors and some grey glass panes. So let's get building. So to build the Wild West house we're going to need a 7x9 block area so clear out a little bit of space. Firstly we're going to fill in our marked area with our dark oak planks. This will create our traditional western platform that we've used in most of our previous Wild West builds. Then knock out two blocks, two blocks in from the front like so, and then knock out the two back corner blocks as well. Then in each of the gaps grab your spruce logs and build an eight block column like so. Now we're just going to grab our spruce planks and we're just going to fill in all of the four walls up to the height of our log columns. This house is probably the most simple of our builds but would work great as a starter survival build in the Mesa biome. Next, grab some more dark oak planks and just make a trim around the tops of the walls all the way around covering the corners too. And then we're going to use some dark oak bottom slabs and fill in the area in the middle to form that traditional western flat roof. Then on the front wall add a row of five spruce planks and then a row of three on top of that. Then either side of the row of five add some dark oak stairs and then add a trim of five slabs across the top of the rest. Lovely. Then on the front two corners of what will eventually be our porch, add three fence posts on top of each other like so, and then a dark oak plank on the top of those. Then using dark oak slabs form a sort of balcony, finished off with some spruce fences so that our resident cowboy doesn't fall over the edge after a night down the saloon. Then at the front add us some dark oak stairs onto the porch then knock out a door in the middle and then two windows either side like so. Then on the upstairs add another door to the left and a window to the right and then fill in all of our holes with doors and glass panes. Now this is optional but using some spruce trap doors we're going to form a little trim around the windows like so just to add a little extra detail. Now we're going to add a staircase using dark oak stairs up the side of the house leading up to an upstairs door on the side. Fill in the gap with another door and then form a 3x2 cover using dark oak slabs just above the door and then with some more spruce fences we're going to join up the cover with the ground and form another little banister around the walkway. Now we're going to do the all important texturing phase that we do in all of our builds. So to do this we're just going to grab some of our stripped logs and replace some of the planks in all of the walls to give that bit of history and age. Do this all the way around and then to add some even more detail, add some spruce signs randomly on the walls to form that loose wooden plank look and make it look like this building has been getting repaired for years and years. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to add some extra external details like some lanterns and some hitching posts. Then if you want you can texture the ground outside using some granite and dirt just out the front of the house. And then finally we'll add some pretty little plant pots here and there with some cacti in dead bushes. Beautiful. Now for the downstairs interior, I'm going to add a little stove in the corner there, texture up the floor a bit, add a bed, table and chairs, all the basic necessities that our resident cowboy or cowgirl may need to live here. Then for the upstairs we're going to make more of a bedroom style room with a nice large double bed, a wardrobe in the corner, some cupboards and a little rug. I would imagine that there'd be quite a few people living here, maybe a family or even maybe a gang of bandits, who knows? And there we have it ladies and gentlemen, our simple Wild West house is complete. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, let me know down below what you thought and as I said earlier I think we'll do a couple more tutorials in the Wild West town of Dirtwater and build some more unseen builds and then I think we're going to start moving on to other projects. So let me know down below what sort of stuff you'd like to see. I put a poll out the other day and it seemed as if a lot of people would like to see like a Nordic slash Viking style snowy village. So that's something we could do. Sounds good to me. You know, we could, we could do another tutorial series and build up a village together, which would be absolutely amazing. So let me know down below what you think. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better response on these Wildfest videos. You guys have been outstanding with the support you've given me. But apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you fancy helping out. Send me your builds on Twitter. I love to see them. And I'll see you amazing people in the next video. Tatty bye.